I'm Chris Barber. I am the program manager. Am I a program manager? Of Flying Lizard's DC4 program. There was never a moment that I wanted to work in motorsports, actually. Uh, I just kind of took a job here, actually, at Virginia, and um, it all started there. Working at a Porsche team, um, where many of these guys are from, uh, G&W Motorsports back in the day, where Darren and Tommy and all those guys started, uh, I also started with them. That's where it all began. I came to be at Flying Lizard Motorsports um, in 2003, actually, at the end of the season, or mid-season, I asked Tommy if there was any openings, and uh, he had uh, a new program going on, and uh, he hired me. My role initially was a lead mechanic on the number 45 Porsche. Um, I just worked on that car alongside Tommy, who's our crew chief, and then I slowly worked my way up to what I'm doing today. My daily duties at the track are to make sure that everybody you see behind me has what they need to do their job um, and to facilitate the track and managers and the BOP and everybody else to facilitate that end of it and to make sure everybody has what they need to get their job done. You know, working with Chris is, is different for me now because I've always been on the side of, I've been the driver and he's been the mechanic. We've entrusted him to lead the team. He does a great job. He, he's very organized and, uh, and like I said, we, we really trust the guy. He's doing a phenomenal job and this is a very well-run program and he instills everything that, that we, uh, you know, that is Flying Lizard. What I like most about my job is the pace. Uh, there's so many things you have to do and so many variables that have to be done for the cars going around the track um, and it's a big challenge. Chris is very focused on his job. He's dedicated to doing a good job. He's serious about it and he's honest. Exactly what is going on is what you get from him and that's what you need in, a, in his position. And he's very knowledgeable about racing overall. So immediately he understands why you're going where you're going, what you're asking, what you're asking, what you need, and, and he's on trying to get it there. He's, he's the reason that this functions. He's the reason all this works. Chris is a, he is a smart dude. He's, he's been around. You can tell, you just, whenever he talks about stuff, you can kind of tell he's, he's been doing this for a while. It's just like, all of his like past experience probably comes and starts melting together. And he's like, what car am I driving again today? What car am I working on again today? Because he's working on every car in the paddock probably. He's a very good mechanic, and I know he's helping the car a lot to do the best of the car. My advice for people that want to get into this is prepare for some hard work and long hours. Uh, the biggest challenge at the track uh, would be the things you cannot control, the things that you don't have to have a choice in what you have to run that, and you, how you have to adapt to it. Chris is a great leader to have on board at our team. When you have someone like Darren Law who's so busy doing all these little things, it's nice to have Chris here overseeing everything else. And he's very calm and cool and collected when things go wrong. And it's nice that when you know you might start to get frazzled that you have the leader there that's just keeping things on even keel. My favorite thing about Flying Lizard Motorsports are one, the people. Uh, two, you have a solid fan base, actually. It's good to see people supporting you and what you're doing and their response to it. Um, and this is a world-class organization. My favorite season at Flying Lizard was the first season in 2004. We were a non-factory team competing against the factory. Um, and I think we surprised a lot of people with our speed and what we could do. And um, that was the fun part about it, beating a factory team. When I'm not at the track, uh, mostly family time, trying to spend as much time at home. If I wasn't working in racing, I'd be unemployed. Uh, it's always been 
cars, so probably in the car field, unfortunately, but here I am, and I guess that's where I'm going to be. Do I have to do the whole, uh, I am what I do? Uh, what's it like working with Chris? <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? No, when I'm, when I'm at the track, when I'm not at the track. A calm, cool, collected leader that can still keep things going. Do I have any special skills or unique hobbies? No. Nothing. Nothing. We've entrusted him to really lead the team. Um, Uh, yes, <laughs> see? <laughs> I like that there's so much, sorry, gotta do it again. <laughs> sorry, I have to start over again. Uh, no, that was perfect. Oh.